friends, Tiffany from Rattle the Stars Studio here, and I want to give you a little info about this project. So I am in a Dungeons and Dragons podcast called North by Northquest, and I have a wonderful storm sorcerer human character named Jan Twelveful Core, who is all kinds of lightning goodness, and I wanted to make her outfit. Or a version of her outfit because I'm not replicating our character art exactly. So here I am working on her hair. So this is wig styling. Her hair is very dark blue, very shot through with white like it's lightnings. You can see the beautiful character art here for her hair. This part I am pretty much replicating, but the outfit, which will be coming in another video, is not. If you love D&D, check out my podcast. It's all linked down below. And so now let's jump into the footage. Please note, this was filmed last year. This costume is done now, but um, I just didn't, I didn't edit it yet. Well, this got filmed much farther before my costume was done, but anyways, Let's go now to past Tiffany and enjoy some wiggy goodness. Okay, so I have my wig on my wig stand. I have also already brushed it out with this detangly brush. It's got these metal tines. This right here is an Arda Wigs Grace Classic in the color Raven. So it's like a very dark blue, almost a black, but with a very blue navy tint. You can kind of see it better from the side here. So I'm going to be taking this Grace Classic and I'm going to be adding in these silver wefts. These are the long classic wefts. Uh, they are much longer than I need them to be, and I didn't realize that, but that's okay. I don't think they had the shorter ones in this color at the time, but we have scissors. We'll just cut it off and then save it to use later. Um, so these are going to get added into the wig starting around here and going down to add kind of like a highlight in this, let's start by separating out the crown pieces and getting into it. Yes, that is a hot glue gun you are about to see. I am using the hot glue gun method for attaching these wefts. You can sew your wefts into your wig. This time I chose laziness over that, so I just glued it. Arda Wigs has a great tutorial on how to use both the hot glue gun method for applying wefts and a sewing method for applying wefts. So if you would rather sew it, you 100% can, totally cool, or be lazy like I am. It, it's all fine. It, it, it's not an issue. Don't be pressed about it. As you can see, I am not adding wefts at every level. I am just doing a few levels throughout the top and bottom of the wig so that the white is not overwhelming or too much. Okay, so this is where we are with the wig right now. So I have gotten all of the silver white wefts in the wig that I want because the idea is that it's kind of shot through with lightning kind of streaks, uh, but it's not overwhelming. And I also trimmed up the ends to be more like more in line with the blue of the wig, uh, blended, that's the word I was looking for, so more blended. The ends will get additionally styled and trimmed later. So the next step is to put the wig in curlers. I think I'm going to use just foam rollers and do the lower part of the wig because I don't really want curl up top, just really this bottom and kind of like more big summer wave ringlets. This part I'm leaving as is because it's going to help kind of come over the face. This is not a lace front wig, as you can see here. So the hairline can be kind of harsh. And I find that if you bring front pieces kind of 
swooped, it helps to soften that. The other idea that I'm thinking of right now is that I'm going to do uh, space buns up at the top. So taking about this much and then you twist and you can um, twist it up. And I think that will really help me kind of show those like white streaks. Um, plus it'll just be really cute. So we'll get into that. So like I said, next step is going to be curlers and then we'll style our buns and the front swoops and this wig should be done. As you can see, I put the wig in foam rollers and I am using a steamer to heat up the rollers and then letting it cool completely before I take them out of the rollers. The idea is to get it hot, let it cool, and since this is plastic, it will retain the shape that it cools in. I found I did not steam the lower curls nearly enough, so they were not hot enough to retain their shape. I'm using a curling iron just to heat it up enough where I can clip it and let it cool again in that curled shape. This really helps clean up those bottom curls. A curling iron is not the way you want to go for an entire wig, but to fix up a couple small spots, it's not bad. Okay, so we have done the curling. We have brushed it out. We now have this beautiful, just stormy mass of hair, which is ideal. So next I'm going to style kind of like space buns. I have these little like bun holders. So you wrap the hair around it and then you close it and it makes these little buns. And I think I'm going to use them because it will keep my buns in place better and I can like pin them in really well so it gives me extra to pin to which I'm really excited about so we're gonna put the buns in and then style then we'll put it on because then we'll style these like front pieces I'm thinking to have them come up and over the buns and kind of like pin in the back and fall down the back and then she's done because really it's just a wild mess of silvery shot through curls, which is really the plan. So let's get these buns in, put the wig on to figure out the bangs and we'll be good. Okay, so I have the wig on and as you can see, one bun is down because I was looking at it and I started to feel a bit like um, a ram or, oh, what's her name? Uh, Muffy or whatever it is from Animal Crossing with the big ram horns. And that's not really the vibe of this character. She's much softer. She's not very ornamental. So I just, I just don't love it. So I took it down on one side and was playing around. And I think I'm just going to do a simple braid to the back and let the sort of white curl frame the face. And then I'll just um, clean up any curls that I feel need it. Though I kind of like these like really scraggly ones cause the whole idea is that it shot through like a lightning storm and I kind of like that they're a little weird. All right, so the wig is done. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it is managed to be just what I wanted. Um, my character Jan, her hair is dark. It's shot through with silver that feels like a lightning storm. And I think that was achieved with all this kind of crazy kinky curl. Um, the braid helps just kind of keep it off my face. I was hopeful for the space buns, but I just, it didn't quite feel right once we got into it. So we switched. I like the braid. I like to have wigs just in a way where it can keep the hair off my face, but still frame it. And I think we really got that kind of crazy stormy hair feel. So I'm really pleased. Next up is going to be her full outfit, which I can't wait for. So thanks for watching. I hope you found any of this interesting. I know it's 
kind of different. Wigs are not my strong suit, but I am trying to get better with them. And I think this accomplished that. I had to add wefts, which I had not truly done before, but thanks to Arda Wigs YouTube, I knew how to do that. So we did go with the hot glue method just because it was faster than the hand sewing method. Both are fine. Uh, one of the nice things about wigs is uh, really they're plastic, so you treat them a bit differently than you would your regular hair. If you enjoyed, please hit the thumbs up button. If you would like more costume shenanigans and to see the rest of this costume come together, hit that subscribe button so you'll get notified of all my new videos. And yeah, leave me a comment. Tell me all about your D&D &D character and if you've cosplayed them or not, because I would love to know and see all of your beautiful costumes. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.